Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Cordoba, Spain. And what we're going to take a look at today is we're going to take a look at a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's uh, over here behind me. But first what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a 2,000 year old bridge. These are uh, fantastic. I really wanted to come to Spain and see a lot of this old architecture, see some of the Roman stuff and just enjoy my time. So what we're going to look at first is we're going to look at this uh, Puento de Ro Romano uh, Cordoba, which is the old Roman bridge of Cordoba. And then we're going to go look at a mosque that was converted into a church after the, uh, the Moors were pushed out of this, the, re the reconquest of Spain. So uh, anyway, we're going to do this and let's enjoy this. So what we have here, there's a tower on the south end of the bridge. That would have been added on later. And then this is the old 2000 year old Roman bridge that stood the test of time. Just unbelievable. Now I've seen, I think four Roman bridges here in Spain and there's many others, but this one here is fantastic. You can see the ducks out here in the water and just a really nice environment. And we're gonna go down over there. There's some churches and stuff like that. And then I don't know what the purpose of this little building is right here. You can see the water goes underneath it. I don't know uh, exactly what it was used for. Maybe it was an old mill or something. I don't know. But anyway, let's uh, go up into the town now. Yeah, so here is the tower. Pretty neat to see. And then the old bridge. You can see the arches. And they put, I think these, you see these little... Uh, like dome things right over here. I think that's to keep it stabilized laterally whenever the water is pushing. And it'll be quite wide and you can walk across it. So let's go across and let's go into the town. Yeah, this is cool. So it's like a little bit of a, like a wishbone shape here. So you have two separate arches underneath here. Oh, this is cool. I wanted to look at it from the other side before we cross. Yeah, so what a fantastic view. And then you have the old church right up there. Oh, this is beautiful. Definitely worth the effort to get over here today. Yeah, I would really, really love to have my drone right here. But it's sitting at my house in Thailand. I didn't want to deal with the hassle of bringing it on the plane and stuff like that. All right, this is fantastic. All right, so you can see it's a nice wide bridge. Guy over here playing some music at the top. And it's a beautiful day. It's like 23 degrees. There's just a little tiny breeze. And it's t-shirt shorts weather for me. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, so the cathedral was the original UNESCO World Heritage Site. And I think they've extended it to all of the downtown area here. These little Spanish towns like this are so amazing. But the roads will be really narrow, difficult to park. That's the only drawback. But you just go here, they have so much character to them. And here is the middle part. They have a statue over here. And they have a statue right here. You can see they put the candles out. And then they have another little place over here with like a, the reed and Victoria, whatever that means. Asilo de Victoria. I don't know if this was built after one of the uh, victories of Agrippa. I can't remember the history of this bridge here. And it looks like we have a twin building to that one. And there would have been another one here in the middle also. That's pretty cool. They have an old water wheel. So we're almost across and we have the gate into the city right here. And here's the gate into the city. Oh, this is fantastic down here. So we'll cross this little road, go through the gate, and then we'll be into the old town. I have no idea what that says up there. The Catholic realm, something about that. So here we are in the Plaza del Triunfo. Oh, 
this is cool. We have a tower here. You can see the paintings up on the side of the building here. Looks like they do have a city sightseeing like shuttle van you can jump on and go around. This is just absolutely massive. Holy cow. Yeah, the paintings up here are fantastic also. Let's look at it from this side and then we'll walk around to the other side and go in. And so you got the horse and buggies if you want to take those for a spin around. And it's a little anticlimactic over here because we uh, have some remodeling going on. They're touching up all the, the murals and stuff like that here. All right, so this already is really, really obvious. You can tell that this at one time was a mosque. They call this the Mosque Cathedral. It was a mosque under the Moors, and then they converted it into a Roman Catholic church. And this thing takes up like a whole square block here. Oh, really cool. And you can see there's tons and tons of people out here. I didn't expect this many people here, but I guess it is the right season to come to Cordova. It's not as hot as it is in the summertime. I was reading that this might be like the hottest place in Spain during the summer. You can see the cool bell tower up there. Looks like it's open from 10 to 7. The Mosquita Cathedral de Cordoba. And we'll get over in here and find a way to get a ticket. This is fantastic. Check out this humongous courtyard. So the you can buy online tickets for here or you can buy the paper ticket over here by the tower. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I really, really like this. And this is definitely the Islamic styling here. They did these really small columns like this and then they did the arch at the top of it. If you go to some of the other places around, some of the Moorish palaces, Alhambra, they all have this styling in it. Okay, so we got our tickets. They're 13 euros each. You can pay three extra euro to go into the top of the bell tower, which I don't think we're going to do today. It'll be fun, but we'll skip it. You can see how cool it looks. And then there's another cathedral you pay five euro for if you want to go into it. And then uh, there's several others down in the downtown area here. You can do like a little walking loop and see all of them. But this is the one I wanted to see the most. Yeah, this is fantastic. You can see the little arches, the little columns. Yeah, it was all the uh, Islamic influence because this was a mosque and now it's a Catholic church. So we'll go over here, get in this line and go inside. All right, so we're inside. And this is the first thing you see here. Oh yeah, this is nice. So this looks like like whenever you go into like some of the the baths that they have, they have these little columns and then they have the arches over. Yeah, so you can see the murals up there. Really cool how it's red and white over the tops of the columns. Yeah, this whole entryway has all of these little columns with the arches up on top. And then we'll walk up this way. So down here in the floor, they've excavated down to the original layer. You can see the floors of the mosque down there. And they started doing that in the 1930s. Now you see all the cathedrals and everything all around. So this is one of the little side cathedrals. And they're behind little gates, so they're closed up right now, but we can stick the camera through the gate and see what it looks like. And there's several of them along the way. Now what this would have been originally, this would have been the little compound for everybody to come and they would have been down here on the ground praying. I've been to several mosques and this is uh, kind of the humongous gathering area. And so people would have came and washed their feet before they went in, washed their hands, and now this is all covered. And you can see the murals up there. And there's also people that have been buried here in the floor of the cathedral. And this one's roped off. I'm not sure who is over here. 
and then they have a special little cathedral right here. Yeah, hopefully that'll come out behind the little gate. You can see the little dome and, and then everything up here. You can see where they painted the little dome has the cherubs and everything. And it has that red marble, which is really, really beautiful. And then some paintings over there. And so this is the Gracia del Roblo Obesito de Cordoba. And you can see this column here with all the styling. Yeah, very nice. And here's another area that's cordoned off and some of these old graves that are here. Yeah, those other ones dated back like 1870 or so. I can't see any dates on these. You can see codes of arms and stuff like that. I would assume these are much, much older here. Yeah, if you can see it, this one here is 1798. And these are quite weathered, 1789 on this one and various ones. Yeah, this probably won't come out very well on the camera, but you can get an idea of what it looks like. Yeah, you can see that looks like the Last Supper there. Now over here in the corner of this is some of the really, really old columns and pediments and everything else that they excavated in here. You can see some of the carving in this piece of stone. And then you can see some of the stuff back there on the walls. Yeah, this is really cool. You can see the columns, the tops of the columns and various pieces. Yeah, this is the tops of the columns. So it's kind of like a, like a modification of like the Corinthian style from the Greeks. And this would have been like the Ionic style with a little bit of differences here in the middle. This is kind of a cool old vase. I think this is what that is. Some of the other pieces here. You can just see how massive this whole building is. And it's kind of a, like, you're, it's as if you're out at like seven o'clock at night, kind of like dusk. The light is so dim in here. And that's the ceiling right there. It's all blue and gold and red. Uh, really nice. And then a little bit of stained glass right over there. Yeah, those arches are really cool. And you won't be able to see that stained glass very well on the camera, but it's got some nice little geometric patterns. Yeah, you can see the Islamic styling in all of that. And then up top is like the little mini domes. And then you see they got Jesus on the cross right here. This is another one of the little cathedrals. The little chapels. See all the paintings. And then you see the ceiling up here. This is the center part of the whole cathedral right here. Oh, that's fantastic. All that marble and then all the detail work over here on the side. Yeah, really, really nice. And you can see there's another body that's buried down in here. Yeah, that's the top of the dome up there. That's really, really nice. And then right behind that, this is the seating for the choir. So this is all wood that's been carved. And then you see the top of the cathedral here. And then the humongous organ. Oh, that's fantastic. And all of this dark wood that's been carved. So it has various scenes, 
I think these are like the apostles scenes of Jesus's life and stuff like that. Yeah, really nice. So there's two levels. So you have these down here and then you have the seats right behind it with the high backs. Now check that out right there. You have figures along the bottom of that balcony also and then the second story. Yes, yeah, so you can see those right there, all that carved wood also. And then the small little part right next to the center. It'd be cool if those were stained glass, but they're just regular glass up there. And then you see these arches. And then that goes back into the little compound around. So this is kind of cool. So it's a straight line right there. And then when you come over this way, it's a straight line also. Yeah, kind of a interesting pattern. And another one of these little altars right here. Oh, it's a beautiful painting. These are just scattered out throughout this whole cathedral. And then over here they have quite a bit more little museum pieces. And then you can see the old styling right here with all these columns some of the original styling. So these were replaced in the restoration of 1910. This is the original edifice right here. You can see the Islamic writing and there's more of it back over there. So this goes 968 or so is what the sign says here. This looks like some of the original floor tiles. Yeah, I really like these patterns. They're pretty cool. Come back here, they actually have the place here for people that are doing their services. They go back in there, so we're not gonna mess with them. And along this wall, they have just a whole series of chapels. And you can see also a series of little arches. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. The same way if you go and you look down this way, the same little row of arches. Yeah, it's cool, the optical illusion that's in here. Yeah, just one more of these little chapels here. And then this is the back side of that center. You can see all the figures, all the styling up here. Now, there would have been bodies originally from whenever this was a mosque that would have been placed in here. And I read that they removed them whenever they left this area before this became a church. And then they uh, re-interned those at another location. Okay, so we've seen about everything that we can see in here. These are the restored column heads. You can see the originals that are over there in those glass cases. All right, let's go outside and let's take a look at it one more time from the outside. You can see the stained glass right here in that little arch. See the marble columns and then a little bit more of it over here. And this is right above the exit. So they did a series of partial arches and a little bit different. And then we'll go out here. This is back into the courtyard we came from. And this is back outside. Now, there's actually a worker up top there that's doing the renovation up on the roof. And you can see this little patio here with that humongous bell tower right over there past those trees. Yeah, this is a cool environment and it's right here in the old town. So we're going to go and we're going to explore a little bit here on foot. Yeah, and this is what it looks like in the old town. We'll go through these huge gates. Check this out. Then you have some of the old wood right here that's been replaced. And this is the old town area of Cordoba. A little place to sit. And then this way here leads you down to the river. Yeah, you can see how massive it is. You have a place here, the little fountain, the door with the murals above it and then it just goes all the way there. So it does it, it just dominates, it's like a whole city block here. 
and more of the old town. What a charming little place this is. Oh, that's fantastic with the bell tower right there. Yeah, this is a beautiful view right here. So you can go up to the bell tower for three more euros. We're not gonna do that though, this is good enough. Yeah, so we'll walk up in here and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Yeah, That's what the, these little narrow streets look like. They have little gift shops and restaurants all kind of mixed in. And it's definitely a pedestrian area. You can go in here and sit down, have something to eat. This place looks cool. Looks just like the inside of the cathedral. Another little courtyard here. All these whitewashed buildings with the little balconies. And it's just like a little maze all around. So you have stuff down this way, stuff down over this way. Yeah, so you can come over here and explore all you want. That'll finish up our video over here at Cordoba, at this mosque cathedral here in the Old Quarter. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's quite cool. It's worth uh, 13 euros to come over here and see. So uh, I've really enjoyed going through there and, uh, and seeing all the styling and everything like that. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. If you've been here or if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And if uh, you're new to the channel, subscribe, and you get to see more content like this. And anyway, from over here in Cordoba, remember, life is a journey. So until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.